Ashley Pickle alongside Matt Stepp at the conclusion of the 5A Division II UIL State Championship where how about them Golden Bears? Sock does it. And this is a big win, not only for them, for Dallas ISD and really for the state of Texas. I mean, first inner city program since 1985. How about that? Yeah, just a historic win for the Golden Bears, uh, for for the community, for Dallas ISD, and for inner city programs, not just in Texas, but a, a, across the country. I mean, inner city, we, we've said it, inner city programs battle a lot of different things that most programs battle, and they made no excuses. They, they got the job done and, and had a really unique challenge tonight in uh, slowing down that slot T offense from Liberty Hill because slot T is the devil. Um, and I thought the second half, pitching a shutout, the Golden Bears defense was the difference in this game because Liberty Hill's defense came to play. That that, that South Oak Cliff offense is really explosive, and Liberty Hill's defense did a great job slowing them down. Make no mistake about it, Jason Todd's squad won this game with defense today. They absolutely did, and that's something that we talked about earlier this week is when you haven't seen the slot tee before, I mean, that is going in blind. That's going in without any sort of a playbook, and they went in there, and I feel like from the very beginning they knew exactly what they needed to do. They went out there and they executed it, and that defensive line played out of their mind. Yeah, I mean, when, when you're playing a slot tee, you, you almost have to, and for lack of a better term, bastardize your defense a little bit because it's something you don't see. You don't you're, All the normal reads and keys that you have don't apply. And you have to, you know, some, one guy on Twitter said, you know, you just tackle everyone, you know, who, figure out who has the ball. But South Oak Cliff was disciplined, well coached, played their assignments, and were physical at the point of the attack. And were able to, to, you know, Liberty Hill moved the football. They're going to make plays, but they, they held them down, put them in some third and long situations, especially late in the game, and, and, and got the job done. And, and that's where the credit lies. I thought Sox offense um, kind of fits and starts today, but the key, I think, late in the game, they got the running game going. They could not run the ball in the first three quarters, and I thought in the fourth quarter they finally were able to get um, Hollywood and Farrar going in the running game, and that really took the pressure off Kevin Henry Jennings and allowed the Golden Bears to uh, get those those key points late in the game to put the game away. Capitalizing on opportunity was huge, too, with that fumble late in the game. They recover it, and then they're able to score off of it, and that set up basically what was the winning touchdown there. And so just an unbelievable performance here. Congratulations to Coach Todd and his Golden Bears, and we've got uh, we got a couple more to go today. Two more. Hopefully they're as good as the first one. Hopefully you have a, a, a crowd. How about that crowd? Forty over forty-two thousand. An incredible crowd, an incredible atmosphere. Texas high school football at its finest.